In today's tutorial, I'll show you how you can create a 3D camera to follow along a path using Saber in After Effects. So this is a pretty cool technique that you can use to trace logos, text, or really anything to create cool graphics that will follow a path using Saber. So let's go ahead and start by creating a background and we'll make this black and we'll make a Saber layer as well. So create a new solid, let's call this Saber and we wanna make it larger. So I'll set the width to maybe 3000 and the height to 2000. Let's apply the cyber effect to it and we can start creating a shape. So maybe something like this. I'm just going to make something simple for this tutorial. So let's just do a shape like so. And let's click on our layer. Make sure it's not out of bounds here. We can actually increase this just a bit. And let's change the customized core here to be a mask. So it creates the saber from the mask. We can go ahead and hide the mask for now. And we'll start off by creating a camera and let's create a new null object. I'll go into my saber layer, hit M to bring up the mask and I'll click on my stopwatch here to create a keyframe. And this keyframe I can actually copy. I'll go over to my null object, hit P for position. And if I click the stopwatch here and control V, I'm basically creating a path for the position following this mask layer. So now this null object is following along this path and we can attach a camera to it. So let me go ahead and turn the saber layer to be 3D. I can go ahead and position my camera closer to the beginning here, something like this. And now if I make my null object 3D, I can attach my camera to it and it will follow along the path. So now if I go into my saber layer, I'll select the end offset here, set it to zero. Let's set a keyframe and let's bring up the position of the null. And if we go to the final keyframe, let's set the end offset to 100. You can see that it's starting to follow our path. Now this might be a little too fast because as you can see, it goes pretty quick. So one thing you can do is bring up the keyframes here. Let's disable the mask keyframe because we don't need it. And I'll select all these keyframes. And by holding down Alt, we can actually drag them along in our composition however we want to. So let's say we extend it to five seconds and we basically slow down the animation. So the cool thing about having a camera follow the snow is we can individually animate it and it will still follow along. So if I hit P, hold down shift, hit A and R to bring up all the settings here. Let me set a keyframe for the position interest, position and some of the rotation here. And let's start positioning this somehow like this, maybe closer and rotate some of the settings here. And let me position this in our first frame. Let's go to the final frame here and position it like so. So I'm basically creating two keyframes. So once I hit play, you can see my camera is still following along the path, but the camera is also animated individually. So we can do all kinds of angles midway and you know, it's still going to follow, which is kind of cool. Now there are a lot of ways you can use this. So for example, if I duplicate my saber layer, and remove Saber from this. We'll call this grid and I'll add a grid effect here. I'll set my Saber layer to additive so we can see what's behind it. And I can just set my border to maybe three and scale down my grid here, something like this. And we can lower the opacity to maybe 20. And we're creating this kind of an interesting look of like a graph or something. Obviously we need to extend the borders here. Now to modify the saber layer, obviously we can use any of the presets, but something I like to do is set the end roundness here to two. And this gives us this nice round edge here and maybe start size to zero, just so we have this sort of a path growing. So this is how easy it is to create this type of effect. And again, you can use this to trace logos, create all kinds of different graphics and so on. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.